So I'm back. Hey folks, long time no see. Why have I been gone for a month? Good question. Mostly it was most problems, but we don't need to go into that right now. What's important is I'm better now and wanted to make things again. So, woo. So, some things have changed. For instance, I now have arm movement. Check it out. Yeah, that's all that's changed really. Oh, by the way, if you didn't see it, please go check out the pilot episode of In the Arms of the Eye, an audio drama podcast thing that I've worked really hard on. It's in the cards now. Anyway, on to today's review. The Indomitus Scorpic Destroyer and Plasma Sight. Two models that really stand out on the tabletop, both in their skills at destruction and their visually distinct style from the rest of the Necron line. Starting with the Scorpic Destroyer, these tripod leg skelly boys are a delight to look at, with massive blades that look equally cool and violent. There's a lot of potential paint jobs with these models, though I've gone for a simple look that I usually go for with Necrons. Overall, they're a comfortably chunky model with a delightful design ethic that makes them stand out from the other Necron models, gives them an otherworldly and eldritch look. Onto their rules. With an 8 inch movement range, 5 toughness and 5 strength, 3 wounds and 3 attacks, these spindly fellows are more than a match for any marine in close combat. And there are 3 of them. Great! In a unit of 3, two of these destroyers are armed with hyperphase thrashers, dual plates that add an extra attack onto the capabilities of the attacking unit. This means 8 strength 5 AP minus 3 damage to attacks per unit. One model in the unit is however armed with a much more dangerous hyperphase reap blade. A strength 7 AP minus 4 damage 3 is the icing on the cake so to speak. Their abilities consist of reanimation protocols, the useful ability to reanimate after battle, and hardwire for destruction, the ability to reroll hits of 1 for this unit. Now, this unit wouldn't be complete without the special little book known as Plasmacite. Not as strong as the destroyers, it shares a similar stat line, with one less strength, two less wounds and attacks, and a 4 plus saving throw instead of a 3 plus. This model is a cute little thing. Bite sized, some might say, but I wouldn't. I don't eat my models. Its insectoid floaty nature really adds to its sense of otherworldliness, with its little bits of rubble that I simply didn't remember to paint. Mm, sorry. This mini is armed with a monomolecular proboscis. A single damage, AP-1 melee weapon that offers some offensive capability to an otherwise ability-focused model. Speaking of abilities, this model does possess the aforementioned reanimation protocols and hardware for the destruction, providing survivability and some extra hitting power, but its main ability comes from its infused madness capability. At the start of a fight phase, if this model is in a unit of destroyers, it can inject tainted energy. The player rolls a d6 and on a 2 plus adds 1 to the attacks and strengths of the destroyers in the unit until the end of the fight phase. On a 1 plus however, a destroyer is, well, destroyed, though the previous mentioned effects do seem to occur. Overall, as I'm sure you're used to me saying by now, I love these miniatures, fun to paint, even if my paint job is a little simple this time round, and fun to play with. These skeleton boys and their little insect body are great additions to any Necron collection. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, do subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm back to making semi-regular content, so expect to see more as this comes. See you next time. Bye bye.